Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here? As you can see, we're back here with some more Final Fantasy 16. Alright, so yeah, where we last left off, uh well our boy Clap here kinda kinda killed Phoenix. So now we're basically back at present day and we're supposed to be finding whoever's the bearer who has Shiva. Retreating army and their dominant will fare any better. Maybe, just maybe. By the flames. Yeah, you can tell uh, Shiva did quite a bit of work over here. Yeah, so far this game is like I swear to God, each boss fight gets more and more insane. Like I just had a recent one where I was like literally like this is just straight up some Dragon Ball Z shit right here. I gotta say, very impressed Square Enix. Oh, uh yeah, that person got us a little bit a little bit splattered. Damn, dude, Shiva did some work. Dominant. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. King Pat, Pizza. Our fortunes. Is that who turned, I think Sergeant. it is? It's her, the dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox sees a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom. They teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Let's go get her, boys. And our fathers. Oh, hey, it's Jill. Hey, well, I know Jill survived. Apparently, she's also Shiva. Yeah, I don't know. I think she should probably stop Prime. She's coughing in blood right now. Clive right now realizes that uh, is Jill, but you focus on the top. Understood. That's enough. fighting here. Her I also kind of got to slightly keep my distance from. Yeah, see, just because of reasons like that. Got the AOEs. Oh no, you don't. Not this time. 
almost got her staggered. Oh shit, get away. Okay, there we go. Dodge that one. Almost got her staggered. Come on. There we go. Stay out of the blue circles. Yeah, she's not even primed that she's beating your asses. Oh, okay. I probably shouldn't have charged in right there. Or there. Ow. Much appreciated. Essentially, she doesn't want to actually like fight for these guys who have her captive, but everyone's like, hey, if you don't fight for us, we'll kill these kids. So she's like, fuck, alright, we'll find a fight. Ooh, let's stay out of those. And those. Potions later. Oh, yeah, get out of that. There we go. Alright, we did it. We slayed Shiva. Or defeated her. We got more potions. Shit. Is she dead? I don't think so. He was so well, busy fighting, he was probably like, wait a second. I think I actually recognize her. It's not possible. Here. Not here. I'll bloody do it then. Damn. Clive's like, what the fuck? Wait, that was a that was a precise throw. I mean, damn, but ouch. No way, I actually recognize her. We're keeping this one. What the hell are you doing? Lord Ohida Bedra! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! Unfortunately, yeah, Clyde's just essentially been a slave for like years and years, so all of a sudden he's like, oh shit, what the fuck, Jill's still alive? Like, alright. What is wrong with you, Wyvern? What, you want me to just kill her? I know her. Know her? Look around you! Do you think it is the animal is there? I need you here! Speaking of which... 
bet you do have enough. What do we got here? Okay, I want to get that. Oh, I can't do that during combat. All right, we'll do that later. I'm used to having certain abilities. I'm like, we should actually uh, start purchasing these. Right now, I just got the basic combat skills, but you can actually update, upgrade a lot more. Bit. All right, we got him. So we could be done with this. No. I, I refuse. I, I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we turn empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. Oh, really? I you, Sergeant. I'm not dying today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Now, why would you do that, sir? Yeah, come on, beat your ass. Let's get it. I'm lucky I can't upgrade my abilities right now. I'm doing twice the whooping on you. Later on in the game, like right now, I'm doing like 4,500, but later on, you can start getting so powerful you're dealing like 60,000 damage. You gave you a name when you had none. You speak as if we don't bear the same brand, son. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have 13 years ago. Excuse me, bro? That's funny, if you think the mom ever gets, like, some sort of redeeming qualities later in the game, she, she doesn't. She's like literally just like a, a shitty lady all the way through. Oh, I guess I should probably actually start attacking. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. When they're talking, I'm like, oh shit, wait, he staggered. I should probably, I should probably start doing some damage. Sir, that hurt. How fucking dare you? Not this time. Oh, what's that? You can't hit me. You can't fucking hit me. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. The amount bested. And we leveled up. Hell yeah. Now what? Oh shit. Alright, uh... So I'm the one man army now. Great, now who's trying to kill me? Where am I saved? Which one is it? 
Oh my god, is that grown up Torgo? Look at him. He good boy. This way. I was like, the fuck? Bloody wind. Well, come on then. I was going like, uh, alright, well, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but apparently fuck. we're saved? Fuck. Yeah, I don't know if you realize. I don't think he realizes that's Torgo yet either. He's like, oh, cool. I'm just apparently years later reunited with, you know, people from my past. Hugo dear, my proud desert life. With that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, in no doubt. But you'll have to work harder. Jill, is it really you? It's like, wait a second. Orgo? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Aye. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Again. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. My boy said it sounds like he smokes like two packs of cigarettes Clyde a day. Rosfield. What the fuck? You know who I am? Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Aware. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No. <laughs> Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. He's like, chill. We're just trying to get her to a doctor. Don't worry, my guy. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not when we've a warm bed waiting. He's like, oh, right. that's. I like freaking the. Uh, I totally space his name. You're welcome to join us. Boots, boots. You're probably gonna mention his name. I totally got it wrong both times, but he cracks me up because he's this giant ass dude. If we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. But then he's just kind of like, uh, listen, I don't want, I don't want to do none of this crazy stuff. All right. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. He's like, all right, so apparently I'm just reunited with freaking Jill and Torgal now. Plus, also, he's technically not a slave now. Well, still has the branding of a slave, but just, you know, out of their reach for now. All right, let's.
let's go check out this hideaway. At some point, upgrade some of our abilities. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry, meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. It's Sid's character, literally all the girls in line, but going like, oh my god, he's so hot. Listen to his voice. Sweet home. And here we are. Actually, not a half bad looking place, honestly. Considering most of the stone was like built by some ancient civilization. And there's a Moogle. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. We must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm. Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, tell you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots. Oh, it's Goots. Well, none will Oots, don't yeah. Talk about Karen. I knew there was something You're ending with Oots, but I was like, ah, oh, it was Goots the whole time. The best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Have a look around. I'll bring my soul. You have to understand, Clive's spent freaking years as a slave, so he's kind of a little bit hesitant to just go trusting random people right away. But I mean, so far it seems like his best option. First, people probably aren't, you know, trying to kill him. I think I should have gone the opposite way. To go upstairs. of mine though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her all right I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield a bearer of the San Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Yeah, if I drink, don't worry, I didn't poison it. I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host, 
What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. Makes sense. And it's also why we need help. And branded, you know, one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? I don't know, man. I don't know if I trust you. Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered. Yeah, by you. By a second dominant of fire. I don't think he realizes that he was Seems technically the dominant of fire. Bother me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Like so you trying to say he might be alive? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Oh, I know. He's meaning he's thinking that it's the dominant who basically killed his brother, but he still doesn't realize yet that it was actually him. Right, ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Cracks me up. Gooks is giant ass dude. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Oh, wait. No. Hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Oh, okay, so I gotta bribe him with alcohol first. Makes sense, he is a blacksmith. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? There's no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Damn, alright. So? I got some rum for you. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Well, damn you, Goots. Alright, alright. No need to be hasty. Oh, hold, hold on Let's now. Look at you. I might be able to actually take a look at some of your equipment. What does he ask so nicely? I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mine. It's not because I want to help you. And 
the belt, Caesar Square. All right, Where I got a new else? belt. You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. So you think you might want other armor besides just like, all right, well, we upgraded your belt. That should keep you safe in battle. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Righty then. I suppose I should think boots. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. See, we have more guests. Thank it. Quick as you like. <laughs> right. You make it comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you just gotta stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Needs what? Me. What the hell have I got myself into? You know, Clive's a total stranger. He's like, uh, hey, uh, you help with anything? Anything? Something? Not sure what I can do, but yeah, I'm here. Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Also a freed Imperial bearer. Right, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Let's tell you the one that's like, jail. quick, get her before it's too late. I'm like, my guy, you're literally just crouching and chilling next to him. You could have done it, but it was like, no, 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 I need to watch him. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, you didn't give me a chance to say so. I did say so. You just assumed I was here for Jill. And then Sarah going like, listen, she needs a rest. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Like, listen, people, if you could stop bringing me people on the brink of death, that'd be great. First they got Jill. Now they got these, all these new recruits that they freed. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. But I'm still trying to be like, yeah, I know Jill and Torgal are here, but no, I gotta find who killed Joshua. Oh, we get to do a little side quest now. Whereas this is one of those games where some of the side quests are actually pretty good. Especially ones that have these little uh, plus marks on them. Some of them are actually definitely worth it and give you some stuff that's definitely uh, nice little upgrades. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? 
It's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you Bro, the old lady there. sitting there taking care of Torgal. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you gonna buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Question is Clive to have coin? Oh yeah, I got a little bit. At least upgrade our sword. It better I'll be here. Let's sell this the back to her. That much. I reckon I can find a buyer. That's all. Why are you barely a guilty a name? Like, well, I mean, he was kind of a slave for a good while. You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. I will say, Torgal's a good boy. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. Hey, what can I say? Targo's a good negotiator. Like that. She does act like this big, tough old lady, but then she has a soft spot for Torgal. Oh, I keep forgetting to actually, you know, upgrade half my abilities. This right here this is basically just our little training room that we got. Don't suppose it'll let me actually upgrade abilities, right? Oh, well, okay. Lunge, charge magic, because those are definitely useful. One more thing to upgrade that. So now... I can actually charge my sword and my freaking thing, so it'll make combat That's a little enough. bit easier. Oh, I didn't want to activate photo mode. Let's see, how did I exit this? Okay, main menu, training options, input, reach in. Oh, there you go. End training. Basically just a little side room they put together for you. So if you want to test out new abilities or just kind of practice on them, it's an easy little area Hold to on. do it. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Now yeah, we should also be able to have Torgal help us fight. Before we go, let's check out some of these little side missions we got over here. Go and help. Don't Sounds like ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. 
Heck yeah, why not? I could use the gill. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if vittles? you would, and be careful. They're hot. Or funny scene when he's just walking around like, Sir, are you carrying those bowls of soup in your pocket? Was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. There's one. Two. I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. We got another side coast over there too. All right, let's let's go ahead, sir. In case you uh, want to take a break, I got your food here. Well, well, there's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe. If I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. All That's right. the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. Go ahead and turn his quest in. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... Men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? We did it. Oh my god, we fed those people. Fed the shit out of them. I got 500 gil. I guess I should see what what is in this fancy lockbox over here. Badge of metal. Got you. Uh, I wanted to buy something from you. And what do you want? Going purse weighing you down. A little bit, yeah. Embracer. I'll go ahead and. Better I'll be here. Is that all? Uh, let's see here. Increases defense by 10. I'll take that. Daytime we focus. Evasion strike. Healing. Let's see. So I got that one already equipped. Those are just kind of ones that 
in case you're having a trouble, you know, dodging or evading attacks, basically it'll kind of give you a little bit of assistance. So far I have not really used them just because I've been kind of doing fine. But the one I do use is the one that kind of assists you with Torgal because it actually comes in handy not having to concentrate trying to strangle on your combos and his combos at the same time. If I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? And sure, why not? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ants. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. All right, let's go get our man some wood. One interesting thing in this game too, because you can have like the most insane fights like possible, then all of a sudden just switch to, all right, I'm gonna get some wood for this guy over here. You know, I, I don't want you to save the world Excuse and everything, me. but the man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You Keep in mind, he has to carry all stuff. that wood. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. I see, you see, we grab it. Here we are. I better get this. I'm sorry. You just absorb the Jeffrey, wood into your hand. You're just like, yeah, that's how it works. And this is. Da, 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 da. Just carrying a giant pile of wood effortlessly because I'm Clive the Bear. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Now see? Magic. Ta-da. There is a this large pile nice. of planks of Thank wood. You. Just hand it to you with one hand. Won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. Oh, well, thank you. I don't know. There's either. no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Wait, no, stop. I wasn't. Stop being nice to me. I wasn't even planning on staying. Damn it. A little bit of experience and little things called gill bugs that I can just basically sell. Which is funny because at first I just had like a pot of those just stashed because I didn't realize like, oh, I'm supposed to sell those. Like, okay. Over here. Yes. What? Fine purse weighing you down. But well, it is over here. At least get 200 off of that. The nice part too is here they kind of basically let you know oh what items are for crafting and what items are actually for, you know, selling. Alright, this is our next destination.